Lo from the Hotel Athene in Bangkok. We just checked into this amazing hotel. This hotel, we're staying for seven nights. We're not paying a single cent because... Hold on. We don't want to spoil the fun this early in the video. So stay tuned and find out how we did it. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are Weedy and Bernard with Explore As We Go. We are full-time travelers that have been on the road since April 2019. On our first year of travel, we decided to stay in Bangkok for a whole month. Join us as we share with you our experiences with food, accommodation, and of course, adventure. In this video, we are sharing our highlighted seven nights experience at the amazing Athene Hotel in Bangkok. We will showcase our room stay, dining and lounge experiences, along with some fun activities. Hello from the Hotel Athene in Bangkok. We just checked into this amazing hotel. It is super nice down here. When we first got off from our taxi, we never have to touch our suitcase or worry about anything. Welcome to the Hotel, that's really great. Just grab all the suitcase. Yeah. The moment I reached the check-in desk, we were kind of whisked away into the Royal Lounge, which is on the 26th floor. It has been seamless and perfect. The service here definitely blow our socks off. Like. One of the top best check-in experience we ever had. It wasn't very lengthy. We were given an option for welcome drinks. I opted for water. We were assigned to our room 2511. This is an upgraded room in a sense that it's slightly bigger from the base room. It's 475 square feet, completely renovated recently. We have a little bit more of space, like a lounge area. Which, where they gave us like a, a couch and a work desk versus the base room which is only about 400 square feet. Fun fact, this hotel used to be a Royal Le Meridian and they revamped into a luxury collection and they named themselves the Adini Hotel. It's a favorite among the elites in the previous program which is Star Wars Hotels and now carrying over into Marriott, it's still a really good hotel for recognizing elite benefits. So when we checked in, I also had the option of choosing between 1,000 points, daily breakfast for two at the signature coffee house in the hotel with massive array and options for buffet in the morning. So that's something we will go check out and show you when we have breakfast tomorrow. And needless to say, we picked that option because breakfast is going to cost you 750 baht per person. So if you do the math, that's a lot of money. <laughs> and now for the room tour. As you can see, the bathroom doesn't really get much tension. The bathtub stays the same. The marbles are the same. And then we have the vanity with some refresh lighting on the side. It looks a little updated, but it still retains its appeal. Standing shower, green shower, and um, fan, bathroom amenities. It's interesting because I think Marriott used the same bathroom amenities, but these are slightly different. And then we get a toilet here, and facing in front of the bathroom entrance and along the walkway, we have dry bar, espresso machine, hot water flask. Complimentary water, tea, mini bar, completely stepped out, decked out in the refrigerator. And we yeah, have all these really awesome glass for your drinks, an ice bucket. And it's really interesting because like this hotel, I don't know, I feel like they're trying to retain their essence of uh, luxury like royal Thai kind of decor so you can see all these like lacquer mahogany wood that's kind of old looking but it's not so we have two closets here one closet space with all your basic amenities like your iron 
safety deposit box. Extra drawers. One thing I didn't mention is that this hotel, because we have uh, status, they give us two free laundry pressing daily. So that's kind of nice. And then we have another closet here. Hangers, bathroom slippers, bathrobe with the signature luxury collection logo on it. And now for the main course, our massive living room area. It's kind of weird because I have so much walking space here. And I just felt like it's kind of wasted space because they could have done a little bit more setting up something down here but um, overall not cram at all very spacious we have a massive king bed i personally love the the bedding the, the the bed set that makes it look very modern and luxurious almost like the St. Regis kind of and then walking over here we have a cute little bean shaped couch with our welcome menu, which, which is a bowl of fruit. As usual, I love hotels that put a lot of thought into the side table lamps for universal power sockets, which they both have. And then over here, it's a corner for a work desk space with two chairs. So you can both work on the desk space, which is very thoughtful as well. Um, tap this, right? Look at this. I think these are like Thai bells. <laughs> and then of course, we have massive TV, which I haven't turned on yet. Oh, it comes out. I love it. It's retractable and you can definitely plug in all your HDMI cables in this massive 60 inch flat screen TV. Oh, so um, we're gonna go check out the gym and the pool which is on the fourth floor. We're working on some really awesome content and goals and hopefully you can like our videos and subscribe so that we can share more of our awesome travels and hotel reviews with you. Time for lounge food, let's go. The Royal Club Lounge was one of our favorite places during our stay at the Athene. There was an ample amount of seating, great for lounging, working, and of course, eating. Every day, there was a different menu of hors d'oeuvres, hot foods, as well as a free flow of drinks. The dedicated chef chatted with the guests and found out what we liked, which was a super nice touch. The food was always so tasty and definitely one of our favorites that we have ever experienced. The next morning, we woke up super refreshed and headed to the lobby for complimentary breakfast at the Rain Tree Cafe. We were amazed at the abundance of food varieties, including Chinese breakfast, bacon, hash brown, egg station, skewers, hot Asian dishes, and so much more. We made sure in our seven days here that we got a chance to try a little bit of everything and it was all so delicious. After breakfast, we completed some work in our room and decided to try our first free activity provided by the concierge service, which was the Floral Journeys. We learned how to fold lotuses in different ways and learn about the history to why lotuses are folded. They also have a Muay Thai activity and a tour, but those were not available at the time of our stay.
folding the flowers in a different technique. So it's a lot harder. But it's kind of rewarding once you get to the center where it looks very pretty and very intricate. In the past, women that works in the royal palace tends to do something different to a lotus flower. So it's like a different type of craft. Because usually when you offer flowers to the temple, they're mostly just plain lotus offerings that doesn't really have much details on it. But when you fold it, it stands out. And which makes what being in the royal family is so special. So this is one of the special art that um, women do in their pastime to celebrate um, their time in the royal family or work in the royal family. It was a fun activity. Um, there was more activities going on, but we just felt like it wasn't a good use of our time. We had to catch up on other stuff, so we excuse ourselves. This is a funny incident about how housekeeping took away our floral arrangements that came in this afternoon and we were shocked because we only had these flowers for less than a couple hours and we folded these flowers and what happened was she apologized she said she took it away because they look like they're dying literally look they're dying and then to make us feel even more inferior about our flower arrangement skills She apologized and she said I'm so sorry the housekeeping team folded a new set of lotus flowers for you and look at look at how they their arrangements are it is so beautiful like they folded the flowers into an amazing rose like look at this this is so beautiful it's just so funny like Ours looks like crap, and this is what professional flower folders looks like. <laughs> Refolding our lotus. And making it prettier. Yeah, we'll see if it looks that way. I'll be trying. You're so serious. Welcome to the end of our video. As promised, we are sharing how we manage this package of 7 nights free certificate. Prior to the Marriott Hotel and Travel package change in August 2018, they had a basic category 1 through 4 7 night hotel stay that only cost 200,000 points, but also gave you 110,000 United miles. With careful planning, we were able to rack up points, specifically chose a higher category 4 hotel with the Great Lounge. The hardest part was to accrue those points we found sign-up bonuses with Marion and Chase and met the minimum spend to get those bonus points. The Athenia Hotel is no longer a Category 4, but a Category 5, which means each night increases from 25000 to 35000 per night. One week would have cost you 150,000 points to now 210,000 points, even with the fifth night free. As you can see, the original package, which was 200,000 points was such a great deal because you were getting the rooms for 150,000 points and for 50,000 points extra, you would receive 110,000 miles from United. Unfortunately, the Mayor Points program no longer offer these specials, but they are currently running an ongoing package of 7 nights with 110,000 miles for 330,000 points. This means you are paying 130,000 points more for the same package. This is not as lucrative as before, but if you find yourself wanting miles along with your stay and you have tons of points, these could be a good package.